Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Monday, January the 10th. The Gospel reading for today's Daily Mass comes to us from the first chapter of St. Mark's Gospel. It reads, After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the Gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the Gospel. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come after me and I will make you fishers of men. Then they left their nets and followed him. He walked along a little farther and saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too were in a boat mending their nets. Then he called them. So they left their father Zebedee in the boat and along with the hired men and followed him. As we notice in this gospel passage, there's not a thorough vetting process in the call of Simon, Andrew, James, and John by Jesus. These apostles did not present resumes, curriculum vitas, no job interviews, no discussions of what talents and gifts they had. They simply were called by Christ. Therefore, this call was different than a lot of things we experience in our day-to-day lives. In fact, it seems as if these four men knew at that moment when they saw and heard Jesus that this invitation of his was the most important thing they could do in any moment. So the question is, is how did they know? Because again, this action of following Christ after this brief but very direct invitation does seem to be a little radical, quick, and if not, a little hasty. But I think we have to back up and see that St. Peter, St. Andrew, St. James, and St. John were all men of faith. They would not left everything behind if they did not trust that everything would work out for their benefit and the benefits of their families. So if they did possess such a deep faith, we can understand how faith sometimes allows us to see clearly through all of the realities of this world and know how to react. Meaning that faith gives us the ability to say yes when all we want to do is say no. And if these four men did not possess a deep faith, we would never have heard about this call. So again, Everything was prepared up to that moment in their hearts and minds by God so that Jesus could make this invitation and that they were ready to say yes, leaving behind their professions, their families, in order to follow Christ. And they knew it was the right decision because of their faith. So in our own lives, brothers and sisters, our faith prepares us for these moments, maybe not like what the disciples experienced with this direct call from Christ, but our faith does prepare us for moments where we have to make quick and sometimes even long-lasting decisions because we don't always get plenty of time to discern among the good things in our lives which ones to choose. But again, if we are living lives of faith, If every day we commit ourselves to following Christ's direction in our lives, he will give us through the power of the Holy Spirit the ability to respond in moments where quick decisions need to be made. And even when long-term sacrifices have to be made. Because again, our faith prepares us always to follow where the Good Shepherd calls us. Now, Again, these moments are rare, and they will not necessarily come too often. But again, they can be life-changing and truly important, not only for us, but also maybe for those who are being called to serve by this invitation from our Lord. Because again, we never know when 
the Lord will ask us to do something on behalf of the people of God in radical and wonderful ways. And we just need to make sure that we're open to this possibility no matter when it may come. So in 2022, let us continue to pray every day that we do God's will. And let us also pray that we have a radical open, openness to follow, even if it is the spur of the moment and we don't have full understanding, but that our faith may truly always allow us to say yes to the Lord, no matter what situation we find ourselves in. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us. Thank you.